All right, back at Frontline Academy. Uh, just finished the morning training here with the with the BJJ and the MMA. We're training. Was training the in the other room, and uh, just some updates. Back into business. A lot of things going on. Uh, just as I traveled, I traveled direct from uh, from from after my match in Polaris. Right, it's always a good experience. It's a great event again. As an athlete and as an spectator, I think I think it's one of the one of the best events that you can that you can follow and you can see. You know, it's a great show. It's, a, it's great for the athletes. It's great for the sport. So uh, I really support that uh, th those guys there, and I really support that event. And I tell everybody here and all my friends, I really recommend you guys to to watch, to support, to 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 get a little bit more interested about them because uh, it's a great project, and uh, I, I hope they keep going for years with that. Uh, and then when I was traveling, Jack had this match. Um, the UFC, uh, at the Coleman event, and it was a quick match, 50 seconds. It was a quick match, 50 seconds, uh, and he got the victory, he got the win, uh, with a submission, which for me, I love it, it's better to see that. Uh, and uh, now, as I came back, when I was coming back, I got a message from him, and he said that uh, he got offered a fight um, in... Uh, it's I got off for a fight in, in three weeks, right? And uh, he's feeling good, he's happy, he's in a good flow, he has he just fought for fifty seconds. Uh, Jack never burned himself in a in a in a training camp because he's always trained, he's always training, he's always get getting better. So anytime I, I believe that he's red at any time, especially after a match that he didn't suffer much in that match, he didn't suffer anything on that match. So he's feeling good, he's happy, he's confident, he's in a good flow, the train is just getting better, like uh, after the trip, his trip, he came back. He's already on point after a couple of days training. So it's uh, exciting times, busy times, uh, especially for for him, a guy that uh, has been working so hard and really deserves everything he gets. So he's gonna have a really tough opponent, ranked mm. number num number three. He just got Jack himself just got ranked number ten, and then after he got ranked number ten, one day or two days after, they offered a match against the number three, right? I see this as he's kind of making a favor to the UFC to have a good uh, fight in the main event. Um, for him, he, he wouldn't waste that chance, right? And uh, he has good, he has very good chances to to do a great fight and and have very good chances to win. And that's what we're going for for the win, not only to to do a great fight but to win that match, right? Uh, so, and I think that's one of the the most important things, not only in the sport but. Uh, for the person he is, you know, that everybody loves Jack uh, in the team and, and, and it's, I love for the world to see a little bit more of him, not only his skills uh, fighting, but his personality. Yeah. Uh, I just can't keep talking good things about Jack, but, uh, and I think this is pulling, like everybody gets motivated and now in the MMA scene, we still have like, Hoko just closed another match in the Cage Warriors um, in June, if I'm not wrong, and, mm -hmm. and then you have, Martin. then we have Martin Hamlet fighting for the title. Of the heavyweight, light heavyweight to light heavyweight. I think heavyweight. Yeah, and then we have we have uh, Kenneth Berg just signed for that contender show, the Dana White mm -hmm. Tuesdays. That uh, he's gonna take that chance and he's gonna prove that uh, where he belongs, right? Mm -hmm. he's, he's, he's been a long time without fighting. Uh, my opinion is that we should try to get a match for him before that. Uh, he's up to it. So if you can't find a match before that for him to 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 get one more fight before he gets the, he gets there, we're gonna get us. You working on it, mm -hmm. right? So and in the BJJ here is on fire. The guys have been have been competing when I was away, and now Abu Dhabi Pro, right? That's gonna be that a good place to be. It's a big competition. It's one of the most important important competition of the year, and uh, the guys are happy. The guys are healthy and training well, and in. The, 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 there's a good group of guys that are going there and, and I, I'm pretty sure they're going to do good. Anyway, it's all the work involved, everything going on here every single day, the energy here in this academy every day is just more and more uh, growing and, and looking forward for new, for new goals and, and it's just the beginning.